So this is a Lego chair that I built in around five minutes of time. Let's go figure out how I built it. So we did a workbench yesterday. We're doing a chair today. Let's see what I can, how I'm going to build a chair out of 221 pieces. Uh, let's put five minutes on the clock. Let's get started and let's see what we can do. So chair seems pretty simple in comparison to what we did yesterday, which was a uh, um, workbench. That, that was pretty tricky, honestly. Something like that, or no, I got a better idea. I think we're gonna wanna double it up, so why don't we do, uh, these go back like that, this comes across, like that, that goes on top. We use one of our dark pieces to finish it off. And then I think we're gonna do something like that, something decorative on the front side, right? Um, multiple colors, that's not the best thing for a classy looking chair, but uh, it's gonna work. Okay, so chairs need arms. And classy typically means white. Can I do, can I do something like that? Like that? And like this? No, look too narrow, I think. Okay, so now I'm not gonna finish this up. Let's just throw these back here for now. Okay, so now hmm. Okay. We can do this. This goes up. Hmm. Can I do this, then that? Then how would that work? And so that's the look I'm looking for. How do I do that? I can do, I can replace that thicker part. Like that. I mean, that right there is not bad, right? I mean, we can work on the bottom. I knew I should have done this at the beginning. Do that in the front. And it's not bad. The embellishment of that dot actually looks not too shabby, so that'll work. Yeah. For the bottom part, that works. And now, yeah, I even could put some dots on there. Got the sides going. That works. Like that. Like that. Or even like this. And then I need another brown dot for the front. That's a cool little embellishment on the bottom. You know, maybe that's an engraved piece of you know, a carved piece of wood on the bottom, right? Something like that. Uh, little knobs for where the hands go. Not too shabby. Like I said, I'd rather have this up higher. Ooh, 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 I got an idea. Can I finish it in time?
and we do. We're good. Finished it in time. We got that going. Yeah. It even looks like a high back chair, which is the, ch the, the, the look that I was going for, honestly. I was going for this high back look. Interesting. That turned out well. What do you think? And that's it for time. I think that turned out really well. I'm gonna switch these up to go this way. Just like the table, right? It makes the side look better, which is more important than the, than the back. I mean, the back, we can hide from the photos. Right, so now that's a high back cushion chair uh, made out of Legos. Looks very soft. I think it looked. I think it turned out really well. It's two toned, which is fine. Uh, that means the fabric of the chair on the back and on the sides is is pink, you know, and then the wood base is two toned as well. Which you know we could actually change that up. Now look at that. Now doesn't that look good? I think that looks fantastic. A little more meat to that pillow top. Okay. Looking good. I could even replace this, but I'm not going to do that. Color-wise, it looks good. Structurally, it looks good. And, you know, the back overhang, you know, could be a little bit better, but I think that looks pretty good. Thumbs up for me. What do you think? If you think I did a good job, leave a comment down below. If you really like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these daily builds, subscribe to our channel down below and hit the bell. Thanks, everybody. It would really help us grow our channel, and we're just starting out, so th any, any effort would be helpful would help our channel so thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you tomorrow and let's go spin the wheel to find out what we're gonna build tomorrow okay see ya bye bye um, we're gonna spin the wheel <clears throat> and find out what topic we're going to build today a drawbridge okay so I'm going to build a drawbridge out of Legos a small amount of Legos it's hard to build a bridge. You gotta have long pieces, especially with a drawbridge. You wanna have long pieces that are gonna be able to move. That's gonna be tough. Let's see what I do. Let's jump right in.